going for sub six pace on this last set. Time to enter the pain cave. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. We are out here at Yellow Jacket Stadium. I'm gonna be doing a high rocks simulation workout today. This is something that I recommend anybody do going into a high rocks race. I'm going into my 15th race in November in Dallas. Very excited about it. And something that I've slacked on during this training block is track workouts and tempo and threshold workouts. It's not because I haven't wanted to do them, but right now in my life, I'm prioritizing morning time with my son and evening time with my son and my wife. And those are typically times that I would take to go to the track and do workouts like I'm gonna do here today. But fortunately, found a block of time and we're going to be doing something that's going to simulate what I feel like on race day. On race day, I'm shooting for a four to 4.30 pace per kilometer. So today we're gonna mimic that and we're gonna be doing three laps four times. And during those three laps, my goal is to run a 6.30 per mile pace, which mimics a four minute per kilometer pace on race day. In between those four sets, I'm gonna take two minutes off where I'm gonna be doing 25 push-ups and 25 lunges on each leg. I'm then gonna line up and then run the three laps again. Starting out this workout with a mile warm up, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about slow is smooth, smooth is fast. When it comes to high rocks training over the years, I've worked to chip away at improving myself. My first race in 2020, I got a 144, I believe, which is horrendous. I've shaved 30 plus minutes off of that over the years, and I've done it all around everything else that I have going on in my life. And this is why I love this sport, because it's not one that you have to drop everything and spend so much time committing to if you wanna make incremental improvements over time. What I've done is focus on my weaknesses each time, improve them little by little, and therefore the result was my time each time improved. This time around, I've had to swallow my pride and realize that my running is just not good enough. I'm hovering from 4.30 to 5.30 per kilometer during races, and that's just too slow if I ever wanna to get to around that one hour time that I wish to have. So what I need to do is get my body feeling comfortable at four minute kilometer paces, and that's what we're here to do today. This is the type of workout that I recommend anybody that's training for high rocks go out and do, mimic the runs in practice. That way on race day, during a competition, you already know what it feels like. You're going to conquer it in practice, then enjoy it on race day. Walking to the start line, time to run three laps at a 6.30 per mile pace, followed by the 25 push-ups and 25 lunges on each leg. That's gonna be a two minute break, and then we are going to do another three laps. We're gonna do that four times, and then go into the second part of our workout. Time to press start on my watch, and then we're gonna get into it. Let's freaking go. This is always the hardest part, getting the right cadence down for the speed that you're trying to go. Right now I'm a little hot, 540. Gotta slow it up a little bit. It's a windy day out here today, but at least it's in the mid 70s. Six minute pace now, still need to slow it up a little bit. Coming around for lap one, we were at 6.23, so we're right around that 6.30 pace. Still need to slow down just a little bit, but that'll happen naturally as I progress into this workout. Uh, 
That was the first set, three laps, 0.77 miles at a 6.16 pace. In High Rocks, you wanna come out hot on that first time you run anyway. So this matches what I'll be doing on race day. Now it's time for 25 push-ups, 25 lunges each leg, and then the next set of laps. Just did the 25 push-ups and 50 lunges. I think I'm gonna switch that to 40 lunges because the main priority today is the speed on the track. I just wanted to get enough in between to keep my heart rate raised so that way when I go back into the run, I'm running, not recovered. That's the goal of High Rocks is you're not gonna necessarily recover on those exercises and then you immediately gotta leave the rock zone and go run. So we're gonna mimic that today. I'm gonna reduce it to 40 lunges 25 push-ups, 40 lunges, and go from there. Set two, start of my watch. Three, two, one, go. Spot that pace again. One of the problems I'm trying to solve in my life is I'm really passionate about this. I'm really passionate about making videos, photos, media that document what I'm up to and provides value to other people who are like-minded and are trying to conquer the same things in their life. The struggle is that fine balance between generating enough cash flow from my other endeavors and pumping it into content like this to make it valuable, optimize and maximize it, and hopefully earn a return in value over the long run, which I've already seen. A goal going into 2025 is to continue to grow this, invest more heavily into it, and hopefully continue to build wonderful connections with people like yourself. All right, 6.15 pace this time. Still holding great. Gonna do my push-ups and my lunges, and then get into set three. After these push-ups and lunges, we'll be halfway done, which is crazy to say. I actually feel pretty good. I've been doing a lot of zone two training leading up to this moment today, so I think that's benefiting me a lot. One. I'm gonna do some switch lunges on these, this just to speed it up. One, two, three. Set three. This is gonna be a tough one. My heart rate's up over 165. I'm gonna start this lap. Three, two, one. I'm gonna set the cadence early and just follow through with it. It's three laps. I can do anything for three laps. Third set, 6.09. So without trying, we are actually getting faster, which is interesting. It makes me want to go for sub six on this last set. Going for sub six pace on this last set. Time to enter the pain cave. Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. For this one, going into the last part, I'm going to conserve a little bit on the front end, and once I hit that third lap, got it. 
coming in. Final lap of the day. Let's make it happen. Point eight miles, five twenty six pace per mile. Whew. Still got our final push ups and jump lunges. Then we're gonna hit squash for the second part of this workout. Pretty happy with the results of the track. I crushed my time, so I guess you could say two things. I either didn't make it hard enough or I am trained up more than I thought I was. I'm gonna go with the latter. About to head over to Squatch, but before that, we need to hydrate. We got some Relight Strawberry, one of my favorite flavors. We're going to mix that up with, I got some Pro Mix pre-workout in here, and then get 300 calories from these Costco peanut butter balls. I used these during my Lake Norman Ultra. They were clutch. That was the first time I kind of used them in a race or in training and I loved it. So what I've been doing when I do two sessions a day or when I do back to back like today, just to get in an extra couple hundred calories, I utilize these. So it's a hundred calories per ball and that'll hold me over until lunch. Look at that chocolate chip right there. So good. One of the reasons I love Austin, Texas is because on a Wednesday late morning, I'm on the track and I see a 60 plus year old man getting after it. He sets up cones and is sprinting. He was doing multiple laps around the track. It was awesome. At the same time, I saw a woman, she's probably in her early 20s, mid 20s, doing her own workout. And then throughout my workout, people coming and going and improving themselves on the track. Late morning, Wednesday, awesome. The community here in Austin for fitness is one of a kind. And it's one of those things that if you don't have that around you, wherever you're at, you either need to build it where you are, or you need to move to a place like this and feel it because it has changed my life. Made it to the next part of this workout. We are going to be pulling that sled with a tire on it out to here, pushing it back. And then we're going to go over and do 10 wall balls with 20 pounds. We're going to do 10 rounds of that. The reason I'm doing this is because the track workout was the priority. I wanted to expend most of my energy there, but I also want to get in reps more so mentally than physically of things that I don't always get to do. So sled pull and push isn't something that I can easily do at my house. So I'm going to do those, get 10 rounds of that in, mentally start preparing to do heavy output of each of these movements in about five weeks on race day. Let's get after it. used to be a weakness of mine because I was pulling it like this rather than leveraging my weight and walking it back. You're way stronger in the legs than you are in the arms and you don't want to burn your arms out too much because you do have row coming up. Wall balls are the arch nemesis of a lot of people out there. 
when you go down, one of the things you want to do is simply release at the top, catch at the top, and let the force of the ball carry you down. Some of the learning lessons from today is I didn't push myself hard enough on the track. I didn't program it to be hard enough. I take that as a good thing though, because I wasn't really sure what the results of my training previously were going to be when I got on the track today. So I set a goal that I thought was achievable, but would also stretch me a little bit. And it turns out that I was able to not only complete that goal, but do it at a higher intensity than even I thought I could. So next time around, I'm going to make a little bit more intense on the track. And then here at Squatch today was a great little finisher. I got in my 100 wall balls and then was able to push and pull the sled so that I mentally start preparing for the race in Dallas. If you're going to be at High Rocks Dallas, I'd love to connect with you. My main goal at any of these races is just connect with other people that are really into the sport, especially if you're a father or a mother and you're doing this on top of everything else that you have going on in your life where you're competing with yourself but you're not necessarily there to hit a podium. You're focused on utilizing High Rocks to improve yourself both in the arena and then most importantly outside the arena where you're looking to take the lessons and principles that you integrate into your training for High Rocks and during race day and amplify them in all other areas of your life. Those are the types of people that I'm looking to provide value to, educate, learn from, and connect with so that we can continue to get better as a team. Strive together, thrive together is a motto that I always say. I believe in it, I say it all the time, and I live it. So if you're gonna be at that race, please connect with me, and I'll see you all soon. Thrive on.